A dam is constructed on the banks of a river so that the water of the river can be controlled and the river water can no longer go out of that range and ruin the city. If the dam is not built, it will destroy the city. Just like that, we can control our brain through self-discipline. Our brain is like a knife. There are two parts of a knife. One part is the sharp edged surface and another is handle. You know that sharp edged portion is used to cut the fruits and vegetables easily. Suppose you grab the knife from the sharp edged end instead of the handle. There is no doubt that you know the answer. You will easily get hurt and you will not make the mistakes of grabbing it at the sharp end. Our brain always run very fast here and there. And if it is not controlled, then it will be exactly like holding the knife at the sharp end. That can harm you. So today, I am going to share with you some smart ideas about self-discipline from the book Rajal Niti, Time Management, written by Rajal Gupta. What is self-discipline? According to author, self-discipline is to force yourself to do some important work which brightens your future. Even if you do not feel like doing that work or at least not at that time. For example, your exams are going to be held but the World Cup of Cricket is going on in which matches between India and Pakistan are to be held. Your spontaneous reaction will be, how can one miss India-Pakistan's match that to in the World Cup? How you will react to this situation is entirely up to you. You can choose to watch the match and then you will not get good marks in the exams. Or you can say to yourself that India has never lost to Pakistan in the World Cup and perhaps may not lose even today. But if I do not study, I might fail. So it is better for me to study. And you choose to study and succeed. Self-discipline requires renunciation of your immediate and momentary happiness so that you can have greater happiness in the long run. Here, the author has given the example of his late grandfather who started his watch business with just a few watches. At that time, he had option to spend whatever he had to save for himself or protect his savings and discipline himself to prosper in this business so that he can provide a bright future to the family. He chose the second option. Being self-disciplined, he gave up his immediate happiness so that his family could be happy in the long run. Today, many of his successors from the next generation are leading their life happy due to this sacrifice. You have to practice self-discipline in every field. If you talk about food and lifestyle, you have the option of either eating spicy food regularly to get instant gratification but in the long run, you will see that your digestive system and your health have deteriorated. Just like that, whatever savings you have, you can spend them in partying with friends and in the long run, you will find that you have nothing left in the name of savings. Or you can use your precious time to entertain yourself, watching TV and movies, listening to songs or walking around to get instant gratification while you can use your time in studying also and as a result in the long run you will find that you have fallen completely behind in your studies. A study was done on thousands of successful people to know that how they become so successful. The most important answer found in that study was that they too do not want to do difficult tasks. In fact, they wanted to do simple tasks but they conquered all the fears and doubts in their mind and able to perform those tough tasks and set new examples of success. It is the power of self-discipline that can help even a person of lesser ability to achieve great success. I agree and I know that self-discipline is very difficult to practice. But I would also like to assure you that the results you can achieve through self-discipline cannot be achieved in any other way. In order to develop self-discipline, the author has also given some suggestions in his book, such as, first of all, ask yourself that if I keep doing the work like this continuously, then what will be the results? And also ask yourself, do I control my mind or does my mind control me? 
do i have the remote control of my mind or does my mind have the remote control of mine friends there is a saying that an apple a day keeps a doctor away that is we will have to eat an apple every day for 30 days in a month it is not justified not to eat a single apple from the 1st to the 29th day of a month and eat all the 30 apples all together on the 30 days this is neither appropriate nor possible similarly if you want to excel in your studies then you will have to study every day you choose a small trouble or big trouble it depends on you if you do not watch your favorite program on tv at the time of exam and study then you may not feel happy at that time but later when you get good marks as a result of your studying you will feel really happy in the long run that's why it makes sense to accept small problems so that you may achieve greater happiness in the long run self discipline is the ability to do what you think is right and should be done at the right time whether you want to do it or not this book rajal neeti time management written by a young indian writer rajal gupta is a very useful book we can easily implement the things mentioned in this book in our life and can get great results in a very short time and above all this book is written in simple english language So I would definitely recommend this book to those who like to read books in English. If you want to buy this book, you can buy it from amazon.in by going through the link given in the description. Thank you guys.